honestly i've never really worried about it too much uh like i i did think about it sometimes okay what's next i mean it's been a bit different for me now because i've i've gone to be my own business owner now and uh, like it's i'm juggling both i'm a cmo but i'm also a business owner so it's just yeah, yeah. it's it's uh it's 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 a stranger but but what i can say is and is that like there are there are multiple directions that you can go in having mm. been a cmo so you can look on the revenue side because cmos nowadays are more, are more attached to revenue function than they ever have been so there's obviously the option to go down the chief revenue officer route yeah. Not many, not many uh, CMOs might like that route though, because it doesn't really give you the flexibility to be too creative. Some will okay. love it though, because it's very, very numbers oriented, right? So it, it depends. So you've got the chief revenue officer side of things. There's also an interesting one around chief commercial officer, which is which is it, which is like a mix of both revenue and marketing functions. I would see it. That's sort of where I'm at. I, I that's where I think I would best be would be having both sales and marketing um rather than just one or the other um mm -hmm. and that chief commercial officer role does does lend to that if you like both sides so some people don't like the salesy side yeah. but you should really have a good connection with the salesy side if you want to be that successful right mm -hmm.